Virgos, hello, how are you doing? It's your girl, Miss Hawaii here. I hope you're doing so well. And I'm coming at you today to give you your love reading, general love reading for all my beautiful Virgos. How y'all feeling today, Virgos? I hope you're doing well. It's a beautiful Sunday. <laughs> I love you all. Thank you for all the likes and all the views on the last video, all the comments and all the subscriptions. You guys rock. Thanks for always showing love, Virgos. Virgos, it took me a while to get y'all. I couldn't, ooh, in the beginning, I couldn't get one Virgo like, damn. I had to really learn y'all and really try to connect with y'all. And then one day it just hit and I'm like, oh shit, I finally got my Virgos. I'm connecting with them. Yay. Now, Virgos, a couple of things before we get into the reading. First of all, I love you. Secondly, if you would like to inquire about a personal reading, you can email me at MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com. I am asking for about one to two weeks to get you the reading because I am about to start finals. All right, so I love you guys. And um, if you need the reading expedited, if you need it within 24 hours, you can pay an expedited fee and I'll get you the reading in 24 hours, okay? So that's Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com for personal readings, okay? Following this video, I'm going to put the extended reading link in the description box, okay? So you guys can go ahead and tune into the extended reading where I'll go ahead and pull your person's cards, get their energy, see how they're feeling towards you and what actions they're gonna be taking moving forward towards you, Virgo. I'll also get advice from the universe regarding the situation and see what spirit wants you to do, all right? So in the meantime, what we'll do is we'll pull a theme card for you, get an overall feel of the reading, okay? And then we'll go ahead and pull your card, see how you've been feeling and what's coming in with your energy. And then we'll go into the extended and pull your, person, your person's cards, okay? All right, Virgs. So let's see. Thank you, Spirit, for a clear and guided reading for my Virgos. Thank you for proper discernment of the cards, the messages through the cards for my Virgos so that way they can live happily in love, have true love, genuine, real love. All right, spirit. So show me, please. What is the overall theme message for my Virgos read today, spirit? What is the overall theme message today for my Virgos? Oh, man. The judgment in reverse, Virgos. Oh, boy. With the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck. My favorite card. Okay. Virgos. That judgment is in reverse. So what is going on? Are we having some self-doubt here? Um... We think about somebody here from the past, okay, um, that we're possibly unsure about. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is there, so maybe you want change. That's about wanting positive change, about positive change coming in. Um, some of you may be wanting positive change with somebody from your past here. Maybe somebody that's been judging you pretty harshly or you've been judging them. Ooh, I keep feeling a piece of hair right here. I hate that feeling. So it could be that, Virgo. You coming, Mama? Kaylee wants to say hello. Come say hi, Mama. Say hello to all the Virgos. She's so friendly. She loves to say hello when I'm doing the videos. Don't be shy, Mama girl. Say hello. Say hello. Kaylee. How are my Virgos feeling in love? Virgos, how y'all been feeling? Show me my Virgos. How they been feeling in love? Oh, shit. The death card. We gonna start like that? Scorpio energy. We gonna start with that? That's the ending. Something here my Virgos put death to. The king of swords here on the bottom of the deck. Possibly an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Death. Mm. That's ending something here to have a new beginning. Perhaps this is that person that you're thinking about here. The seven of wands in reverse. Some of y'all felt like giving up, giving up with this connection here. That's what happened. Seven of wands in reverse. With the page of cups. Mm. Y'all may be feeling like giving up, but somebody might not be feeling like giving up on y'all with that page of cups. That could be a message coming in. Or maybe y'all feeling like sending, some, sending somebody a message. 
The six of pentacles in reverse. It wasn't an equal give and take here between you and this person, Virgo. This person just took from you. Some of y'all, y'all cashed this person out, gave them money. Others of you, it just wasn't an equal balance with the six of pentacles in reverse. It's not an equal give and take here. Somebody was giving more than the other. Or somebody was taking more than the other, rather. The two of pentacles, you're trying to juggle right now, you're trying to balance the hangman, okay? In a pause right now, y'all are trying to figure shit out. The hangman is about, you know, taking a minute, a pause, you know what I mean? To really look at things from another perspective. And I see you trying to weigh your options out, Virgo. Oh, the eight of cups, you see, that's you walking away from this person. See, the three of wands is here again, looking into the future. Looking into the future. <laughs> you definitely walked away. Or somebody walked away. The fool is here in reverse, though. So there's a hesitancy. Oh, king of wands. Oh, my God. Some of y'all got an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. Somebody here that want that ass. But I feel like the fool is in reverse. Y'all possibly could be taking y'all time right now. You're not trying to jump into anything right this second. New. No. Because of what you see, eight of wands in reverse. Yeah, because of what you went through with this last, yep, six of wands in reverse. This was a, you've had a lot of unsuccessful relationships, Virgo, especially this last one that just ended. That you had a lot of faith in and you love this person. It didn't work how you wanted it to. So I feel like you're taking your time. You're not, you're going very slow with this new dating. You're not trying to rush into anything with nobody. I see somebody here coming in, but I feel like you're the fool in reverse. It's like, I'm chilling right now. The queen of pentacles in reverse. That's you. With the five of swords in reverse. Right now, you just want peace right now. You see? You're not really, like, welcoming people in. Because the queen of pentacles in upright is, like, nurturing, welcoming. You're in reverse. So, I feel like right now, male or female, you're chilling. You ain't trying to start nothing new right now. Um, you're thinking about this situation that just ended. You know what I mean? Where this person really, it wasn't, you know, you didn't get treated equally here. And I see you trying to just balance right now, balance out your life. Some of y'all are just working right now, studying in school or taking care of your families or whatever. And I see you walked away from something here and it hurt. It was painful, but you had to do it because it was your best interest. Okay. And I see you holding back right now. You're not jumping in, into anything new at this moment. See, the queen of pentacles in reverse, it says self-centered, envious, distracted, disorganized, unreliable, dependent, and materialistic. I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling more of it's just the energy of you, like I said, not, not entertaining anything new right now. Not being open to dating anybody new. You know, I mean, you are open, but I mean, right now, you're just trying to heal right now. I feel like you're just trying to, some of y'all just got out of something. So it's like, okay, you're really thinking about yourself right now with that queen of pentacles in reverse, and that's good. And I think you're just trying to get your life organized right now. Okay? But there's somebody here that want that ass I see coming in. You, you, you heard what I said? Hello? I said there's somebody that want that ass. Show me the death card. The world in reverse. Ooh, is you having a hard time letting this person go? Mm. This knight of wands in reverse. Somebody was playing games with you in and out. You're still healing. I see you nine of swords. You still having nightmares, fears, anxieties about this, worrying about this situation. The world is in reverse. So you ain't closed out this cycle yet. You're still hanging on a little bit. See, you're thinking. The two of swords. You're thinking, thinking, wondering. And there's that two of pentacles because you feel like, you know, you're a little bit imbalanced. I said that already. Because, you you know, some of y'all miss this person. It is what it is. I mean... Making sure that sage don't fucking smoke up. Because this shit will fucking cause a fucking fire alarm. Hold on, y'all. And that shit is so loud. I hate it. I be feeling like everybody looking at me.
I think that's good. All right, let's see the seven of wands in reverse. This is you not fighting no more wanting, you know, feeling like giving up here on this past connection or you giving up on this past connection. Show me the seven of wands in reverse. Show me the seven of wands in reverse. The chariot, the two of cups in reverse, the king of swords in reverse. Some of y'all, this person, oof. See, two of pentacles again. This is you trying to juggle your life, trying to get everything in order since this ended. Eight of wands is here again in reverse. You're not rushing. You're taking your time. This person is coming up as cold towards you, Virgo. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, king of swords in reverse. Excuse me. For some of y'all, this person was abusive, wasn't faithful, cold, distant, detached. Had a nasty, um, used to say some mean things to you verbally abusive to you some of y'all and i see the chariot though you got through this shit cancer energy you got through this shit virgo two of cups in reverse you realize like this this shit ain't working two of cups in reverse that's like a breakup separation division you know what i mean incompatibility like you realize you know two of pentacles you know wow virg let me see this six of pentacles in reverse Show me the six of pentacles. That's in reverse, please. The ten of cups. This is you wanting a happily ever after. The empress. Okay. The page of wands. Wow. This person was very immature. Look at you. They're very attracted to you. They see they're, you're coming up as the queen of wands and the empress. So you're looking fucking good, male or female. But I think you realize your worth here, Virgo. You realize your worth. You know what you want. You know what you want. The, the Ten of Cups is about my happily ever after, my dream come true, my love. You know what I mean? And this person wasn't doing it. They wasn't give. It wasn't eat. It wasn't. You know what I mean? With the Six of Pentacles in reverse, it's like it wasn't an equal give and take here. You were giving more to this connection. You know what I mean? And this person's coming in as a page. Now, some of you, this person may be sending you a message soon. You know what I mean? Two sixes here. Sixes are about growth. So I feel like for some of you, this is hard for you to get past. Some of you are like haunted by the past. You can't let this person go. Some of you are actually mothers. You have kids with this person. Some of you, this is family involved. So that's why it's hard here. Could have had something to do with money. This person not being financially stable, not taking care of the family how you want it, not, not taking care of you how they want it. That's for some of you. You know what I mean? Show me this two of pentacles. Show me the two of pentacles. The star. See, this is you. You're not giving up. Yep. You're not giving up. Fool is here on the bottom of the deck. See? You're trying to weigh out your options here. Virg, you're like, okay. The sun is here in reverse. So I feel like you're, you're, you're battling. Some of you are battling depression right now. Feeling, you know, uh, self-doubt here. Um, not believing. Um, you know, or juggling in between believing and not believing with the star card. Because this has been hard for you. Page of Cups with the Knight of Cups in reverse. I mean, you love this person. You care. You had emotions involved. And this person hurt you. Knight, Knight of Cups in reverse. They broke your heart. This is disappointment here. Okay. This is disappointment. Show me the Eight of Cups. The two, that's you, uh-huh. Oh, you looking good, too. Oh, the sun is here. Oh, shit. Some of y'all dealing with a Leo. Okay, you walked away. Oh, Virgo. Wow. After long thought. After long thought. You realize your worth with this nine of pentacles, Virg. You said, I'm independent. I look good. I have this. I know who I am. I know what I bring to a connection. Three of Wands, it's time to look to the future. Ace of Wands, it's time to start something new. Something passionate, fiery, because some of y'all, the sun came out. This was y'all revelation to just move forward or maybe something was revealed to you that made you walk away. But I see you, you got the fuck on, okay? 
Mama, show me the full card in reverse. Foot is itching. Show me the full card in reverse. I'm proud of you, Virgo. The Knight of Cups, yep. The Hierophant. Oof, the Wheel of Fortune. Oof, and the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, ho, ho. With the Queen of Swords. My nigga. Okay, Virgo. And guess what? Y'all got somebody coming in here. I don't know if y'all met, if y'all know, if y'all talk to this person here, y'all met this person, but uh, it's a Knight of Cups here, Virgo. These are some serious cards you got right here. <laughs> you got the Knight of Cups, which shows me there's somebody that's going to be coming in to make you some type of offer soon. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Once you're ready for this new beginning, or maybe somebody is here already that you met. Somebody very romantic. The Hierophant could be a Taurus. Somebody that wants marriage and commitment. Somebody that's very spiritually connected. Somebody that's very mature. And look what you got behind that. The Wheel of Fortune, my favorite card. Also the other card that was in the bottom of your deck in the beginning. New beginnings, positive change. The wheel is turning in your favor now, Virgo. The Ace of Pentacles, huge cards to get. About a new beginning, the universe literally extending a hand from the cloud and giving you a gigantic coin, gold coin. Once you're ready for this new beginning, but I feel like y'all are queen of swords right now. You've been through a lot. You're thinking, you know, you're thinking carefully here. You're not, you're not trying to think with your heart. Oh my God. And I lost him so much. And he's so cute. No. That's how you get hurt, stupid. And I hate to say it like that, but I just mean it because you don't know people's intentions. People can come off so sweet. Like they love you in the beginning. And I want to marry you, girl. And all that fake shit. Don't never hear from the nigga again. So I get it. You got to be queen of swords. You got to you gotta see these niggas. You got to see through all these niggas. You got to... You got to be perceptive. Especially now in 2021. In 2021. You got to see right through these niggas. And that's what you're doing. Male or female. You're seeing right through them. And you're being very intelligent with your, with your choices. Before you take this new beginning, you're being very smart, Virgo. I'm proud of you. The Queen of Swords is also so smart and wise because of what she's been through in her past. Male or female. She knows pain. She knows trauma. She knows people that try to use her and manipulate her. That's why she's so guarded. Show me the Eight of Wands in reverse. That's good. The Page of Wands in reverse. The Hierophant. The Wheel of Fortune again and the Fool. With the King of Pentacles in reverse. Wow. Oh my God. Y'all got some major things going on here. Eights are about changes. I feel like this person, mm -mm, you realize that eight of wands in reverse. <laughs> some of y'all, this person got money issues. This person from your past, they immature. Some of y'all, they sleeping around with that page of wands in reverse. That could be somebody that's something else. Okay, and I see you want commitment. You want marriage. You don't got time for no games. The Hierophant card is a serious card. Some of y'all are very connected with your spirituality. You're praying every day. You're meditating on this. You ain't got time for no games, okay? And then following it, you got all three, look at this, Major Arcana. The Fool with the, with the Wheel of Fortune. The Fool with the Wheel of Fortune. Again, the Wheel of Fortune, again. Some of y'all hesitant to, to, you know, start something new because you think about what happened with this old person. And some of y'all, like, this person really got y'all because you just knew this person was it. And now you like, well, damn, if it didn't work out with this person, how the fuck I'm going to trust somebody else? Because this person played me like a motherfucking fiddle. Show me the queen of pentacles in reverse. Damn, bird. Mm, show me this queen of pentacles in reverse. You're just trying to get your life in order right now. Since this person, yeah, see, look. You're still thinking about this person from the past that's not doing nothing. And you're still thinking about how you wanted this happily ever after with them. This long-term stability. 
Okay, and you're still trying to. You, I mean, you've been getting the two of pentacles throughout the whole reading. This is you trying to juggle your life right now. And I feel like with the six of swords, this was a this was a toxic relationship, very rocky. Some of y'all was a lot of arguments and stuff. And then here you go. Some of y'all working a lot with that Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Because it's constantly on your mind. So I feel like some of y'all are, are workaholics right now trying to keep this shit off your mind. You're definitely looking good. Your money. Wow. Very interesting energy here, Virgo. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the extended. Now I'm going to pull your person's cards. I can't wait to see what the fuck is going on with them. See how they feel about you and what actions they're going to be taking. I also want to take a peek at this new person that's coming in. This Knight of Cups. That's either you've met already. Oh, shit. Either you've, um, you've met already and you're just taking your time. You're not ready to jump anything or somebody that's going to be coming in. All right, Virgo. So thank you guys. Don't forget to like the video if it resonated. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know if it resonated. And I'll see you guys in the extended. Hug somebody and tell them you love them because I love you. And somebody needs to hear that. All right? Mwah. Blessings. See you next time, Virgs. Bam. BX in the house.